So it looks like Screet Gabusi Boo has finally answered old trash talking Charles Charleston White. Now y'all might remember Charleston White used to always be like, and Boosie, I need an answer. Why you ain't said nothing about old Tippy Tip, your Brent, your friend that done snitch? Why you ain't said nothing about the album? Well, it looks like Boosie has finally said something about that album with Tip, and I'll bring it to y'all right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This show's Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification game. Key Talk Game for Rock With Me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go to the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So Boosie did an interview with Vlad. And of course, Vlad finally asked Boosie the golden million dollar question that a whole lot of people been wondering. And of course, that trash talking Charles been asking and asking and asking and pre- Pretty much trying to get him to answer. So pretty much he asked him you know, talking about the situation with T.I. Where T.I. pretty much said, you know, hey man, my cousin died and, and, and I got arrested off of something that we did. And I put everything on him. You know, he was already dead anyway. So I just, you know, talking about, I talked to him when he died. You know, talking about while in the afterlife, I talked to him. When he was dead and I was alive, I talked to him. And he told me to put it on him. You know, talking about, so that's the only time that I done pretty much, you know, involved and put some on somebody else. Now you know. So Boosie had pretty much got mad about the situation. And Terrence Gangster Williams did the same thing Where he told on some people that had actually died And pretty much Boosie came out and was like Nah, he a rat, he a rat, I don't care about none of that Nah, you know So for the longest amount of time People was like, why Boosie ain't showing that same energy to T.I. He trying to get T.I. passed Because they got a project coming out Nah, you know Well, Boosie has finally came out and said He's guaranteed And, and you know, I let everybody know 100% expeditiously That album with T.I. will never drop Drop, you know, somebody pretty much came up and was like, Why in the blue hell did he decide to say something like this at a time where we about to drop up album? He ruined everything. He pretty much, you know, went on to say that not T.I. just ruined everything. And in order for Boosie to keep his screen image, not only his screen image, but his his screen morals and his fans, you know, talking because the biggest thing he said was his fans, his fans was like, You cannot drop this project with T.I. at all. That's gonna just hurt your whole your whole aura. That's gonna hurt Boosie Boo, you know what I'm talking about? And that could definitely knock your fans, some of your fans away from you. With this man? I don't feel like he could have held that in for all these years. I, you just wait, basically just come out and say some dead like. Now you know. So of course, Ti and Boosie were at one point in time at the peak of their game, super top elite artists, and it's like he don't want to believe it. You know what I'm talking about? But just the very fact that he came, you know, Ti came out and pretty much said it and admitted it at his own admission. He got no choice but to believe it at all, and he gotta stand on business about it because it ruined everything. Because of that, it ruined everything. I woke up with my motherfucking phone, everything full. Like, Boosie, you cannot do an album. Boosie, my real fans, like, Boosie, you the last one left. They like, you cannot put this album out. You already know. So with all the tattletelling and truth telling that's going on inside of hip hop at this particular time, uh, you know, of course, it's been going on for a long time. It's just all now being uncovered, of course, that a lot of the rappers that people, you know, and gangster rappers that people look up to have also cooperated or, or said anything, got anybody. They It's just a whole lot of stuff that the streets would consider ratting, you know what I'm talking about? Has been going on for a while. And, you know, it's kind of like Boosie fans were like, hey, listen, Boosie, listen, man, it's a whole lot of people. People that's turned on us out here, man. My heart been broke by a lot of my favorite artists that I'm thinking this was really like that, Boosie. But listen, Boosie, man, don't do it, Boosie. Please don't do it, man. You the last hope for us, real screech. Because, Boosie, man, you our last hope, man. Don't put that song out with that boy, man. That's You ain't no rather to it, Boosie. Don't do it. Now you know. So he decided not to put the song out. And then, of course, he did go on and actually say, hey, man, if he really did that, you know, then he is, in fact, a rat. Now, you know, I guess we'll just have to see if, if, if he ever decides to change his stance on any of that at all. But Boosie does seem like the person that won't do no type of change on how he's feeling about a particular situation or particular people uh, because he's always going to, you know, 
he himself was on a murder trial. He himself beat a murder trial. How he beat it? Who? I mean, you know, there's, there's a little questionable right there. Not that questionable if he snitched or not, but just the route in which he kind of, you know, I mean, everybody, if you know about it, then you know about it, right? But it ain't about no snitching, of course. But the thing is this, you know, he's been a person that was on there. He's a person that didn't do no snitching or no talking to nobody. So he takes that in high regard and a whole lot of other people to do. Uh, you know, he got the screech. You know what I'm talking about? Boosie got the screech. So he'll never really just fade away because he got the screech behind him anytime he want to go on tour do some shows he got the screens they're gonna pull up now if he had you know risk and done this project and let that out you know a lot of his street fans probably wouldn't you know his core core fans probably wouldn't have rocked with that situation so he had to do what was going to be the best career move for him and also you know his street morals for him as well anyways so do y'all think boosie made the right decision or do y'all think man he should have just did the project with him they had already recorded it or whatever and just it is what it is man everybody gonna do what they're gonna do you know time the business is business let me know some comment down below let me know what you think about this entire deal i'm out